Okay, St. Louis, it's time to open our hearts and stretch our legs for the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. You'll find out more on tonight's show. And you're going to need to stretch those legs because we're going to be dancing with the Park Avenue Band. That's right, and we've got a great studio audience. All that and a whole lot more is coming your way right now on... The Best of the STL! <laughs> any difference I still love you girl you're my weakness you changed my world share my life yeah. Trust in me You're all I want Everything I need Ooh, baby Yeah It makes any difference I give you all my heart You're my son. Good evening and welcome to the show presented by local State Farm agents. I'm Cassandra Walker. And I'm Roberto Pinella and Cassandra. I am in love now with that music. That, yeah. <laughs> Is that what it did for you, Roberto? Yeah, it did. All right, Roberto. Why are you leaving me? <laughs> well, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. There's so much fun. We just don't want to yes. make, make sure that you don't miss out on it. That's right, Cassandra. You can always count on checking us out on Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and also on STLTV.net. Yep, you name it, you can find us there on the social networks. Yes. But you know what? I'm going to switch gears a little bit, Gilberto, because unfortunately, mm -hmm. the St. Louis area was recently hit with severe weather, which caused a lot of damage to the residents in the area. And there are several ways in which you can help. Just check out the St. Louis chapter of the American Red Cross. Yes, you can even visit a few local restaurants because 10% of the money received will go toward local re relief funds. So just check out www.redcrossstl.org or cityfocustoday.org for some more information on 
how to donate and how you can help. And St. Louis, we know you're going to come together and, yes. and help out. As always, St. Louis is always out there in force. I know. So Louis. thank you for that ahead of time. Yes. Well, you know who's in force right now in the kitchen? Good morning. <gasps> I'm jealous. I know. You're supposed to be there. What's going on? But that, I'm in love, too. That's true. You, you can't have both. Conflicting. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ivy's in the kitchen. Hey, Ivy, what's going on over there? That's right, in full force in the kitchen. And we've got an audience that's going full force tonight. You want to be a part of our studio audience, all you got to do is call us at 552-2970. We saved you a seat. How come you're not here? Call us. You can be down here. We've got free giveaways, and we've got an awesome chef in the, in the uh, studio with us. We've got Brendan Hickam of Salt. Never heard of Salt? Be because it's new. If you haven't been there, it's hot, and you need a reservation to get into Salt. Is that We're right? We're a little bit busy right now, yeah. yeah All we've right. been taking a lot of reservations, and uh, we've had a great first couple of weeks. So we're Perfect. really, really uh, appreciative of the support St. Louis has given us so far. What are we making tonight, Brendan? Uh, tonight, we're going to be making our, uh, what's going to be on our new menu. It's going to be an asparagus, a grilled asparagus uh, gratin. So tonight we're going to have, um, I've already got pre-plated my uh, grilled asparagus. So we had to grill the asparagus. We grilled it mm. beforehand, right? And to that we top it with a little bit of goat cheese. Um, and that's going to melt down and be nice and kind of smooth through the, goat, or through the uh, asparagus. And then on top of that, we're going to start making our... Uh, gratin, which our is gratin. not a fancy word for gratin. It's no, just a fancy no, no, no. word just for... For something that's gone under the salamander, that gets a little toasted, gets a little, mm. little extra love on the top of it. Um, so we're going to zest some orange. How much orange do I want to um, zest? Just keep going. That's good. No, that's not good. too much rind in no, there. No, not too much rind. Just a lot of the nice oils. Um, and then a little bit of lemon. All right. And uh, I already have some chopped celery here. So we're going to add that to... Uh, this these is are the celery easy. leaves. So tell me more it's, about what's on the menu at Salt. I mean, this is just really, really it's, it's awesome. It's really simple, simple and really easy. And that, it's kind of at the heart of our menu right now. Yeah. Um, we just want to present things that are, are locally produced and grown and present them in a light that just lets the product shine through. And the um, name salt manipulated as little from as like possible. Salt the earth then since well, you do salt is really the like uh, the most simple ingredient that you can use and that's that's kind of like I said at the heart of our menu and our philosophy. We want to return to uh, kind of an era of where things were preserved and uh, given a lot of flavor and make it kind of fresh and modern at the same time. I love it. It is very fresh and very modern. I can, you said this is a new menu, so this is going to be on this, the summer menu, and we're going to have a little bit more with Brendan coming up from Salt a little bit later on. They are located on Lindell, right by Rosati Kane, and we'll have enjoysalt.com as their website. We'll have more with Brendan in just a minute. But in the meantime, giberto has got some more information on something you can enjoy. Yes, Ivy, we're celebrating the 100th birthday of Vincent Price, and this is like a huge celebration here in St. Louis, and with me is Don Stockman, who is the events director for the Vincentennial, and tell me all about it, because you've got a lot of information. We sure do. You know, Vincent Price was born right here in St. Louis, May 27th, 1911, so this uh, May will be the 100th uh, anniversary of his birth, as we're calling it, Vincentennial. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot going on. It's a huge event consisting of stage plays, exhibits, film festivals, lecture series, publications. Uh, it actually started last week. We have a Vincent Price legacy exhibit. Right. At the Sheldon, right? At the Sheldon Art Gallery. That's uh, an exhibit of Vincent Price artifacts and memorabilia. That opened last Friday at the Sheldon Art Gallery. It's over there on Washington, just around the corner from the Fox Theater. And then you have some local artists as well? That's, that's the second exhibit. That opens this Friday at the Star Clipper Gallery at Star Clipper Comics on Delmar. That's uh, Vincent Price Presents. We've got paintings and illustrations of Vincent Price by 15 or 16 local St. Louis artists. That opens this Friday, and that'll run through the end of June. And then, as is not enough, we have a movie festival, too honoring Vincent Price, right? We sure do. Starting May 19th, we've got the Vincent Tenniel Vincent Price Film Festival. That is a very comprehensive look at his career. We've got uh, the legendary director Roger Corman, who directed all those wonderful Edgar Allan Poe adaptions that Vincent Price starred in the 1960s. He'll be at the High Point May uh, 21st and 22nd to speak and answer questions, and they'll show a couple of those those great films that he directed, but we're showing, like I say, 19 different films. We're starting off with The Fly on May 19th. That's at the Missouri History Museum. Then we move over to the High Point. We've got Pit and the Pendulum, Theater of Blood, House of Usher, Last Man on Earth, The Tingler, all the great movies. You'll get a chance to see all these great Vincent Price movies on the big screen. And then on Monday, the 22nd, we move the uh, film festival over to Brown Hall on the campus of Washington wow. University for more films. And Master of the World, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not showing Master of the World. Oh, see. Okay, well, Anyway, you got to check it out because this is going to be a great event. All you have to do is go to vincentennial.com.
www.ghanaplaza.com for more information because there's a lot going on and everything is going to end in August, right? Well, the exhibit ends August 6th. August 6th. So check it out. Vincentennial.com. Let's go to break. When we come back, there's more Cassandra and Ivy, so don't go anywhere. Keep it right here on Best of the STL. <laughs> to raise funds to find a cure for breast cancer. That's right. These ladies are part of the local Susan G. Komen organization right here in St. Louis, which is known for hosting one of the largest Race for the Cure events. Absolutely. Here to tell us about what's coming up, please help us welcome Donna Kerrigan and Stacy Kingston. starts to break it starts getting warmer it's that time of year Susan G Komen race for the cure Absolutely. before it gets too hot you know it's just the right time to start thinking about that and participating Stacy can you give us a little brief history about the organization and, and why it's become what it has become well you know this is our 13th annual uh, Susan G Komen St. Louis race for the cure which is locally presented by Wells Fargo Advisors mm -hmm. And St. Louis, from the very beginning, um, when we started back in 1992 here, um, they just embraced it. You know, we had the, the largest inaugural race um, with over 10,000 people. Um, and it's been great to see all the support that St. Louis has for this organization. Perfect. And Don, this is the third year for Dine Out for the Cure. You want, you want people to eat before they run, basically, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We have over 150 restaurant locations all across St. Louis and um, Illinois that are participating. And it's so easy because people can just decide what meal they want to eat and pick what restaurants in their area and go and eat. And the restaurants are donating 20, 35, or 50 percent of their proceeds for their meal selection for that day. It just couldn't be easier for people to um, participate in, in this way as far as giving something to Komen if they're wanting to, you know, carve up before the race on Saturday <laughs> or if they can't uh, participate on Saturday. This is one other way right. to, um, to contribute. Now, is it only for the day of the race that they can actually get the percentages off when they go to the restaurants or does it last for several days? No. Well, it's actually the restaurants on June 9th, Thursday, June 9th, two days before the race. The restaurants have signed up and are contributing a certain percentage of their daily um, profits for that day. Excellent. So the restaurant has already committed. People who come in to eat mm -hmm. don't even have to say I'm here for Komen because oh, the excellent. restaurant has already made the commitment. That's excellent. That's, yeah. I didn't realize that. I thought it was yeah. just for those participants. That's good to know. Yeah. No. So the new thing this year is the race has a new route. It does. <laughs> um, because we have grown to be one of the, uh, well, the largest 5K event in the entire world. Wow. Um, in we, the world. Incredible. In the world. Um, we decided that we needed to expand our footprint a little bit, so we have changed uh, where our participants will actually line up for the race, and we will be closing Tucker, which is also 12th Street, and our participants will be able to line up along there, and then they can just make that left-hand turn and go down <laughs> Olive Street, so that way they don't have to cut through the middle of our race site anymore, um, and it'll alleviate some of that congestion we have. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, what can St. Louis expect? For instance, can you come with your grandmother who's 87 and your seven-year-old daughter can you what can they expect when they come out there is there an age limit or anything like that we have no age limits at all um the only thing we ask is that you leave your pets at home a lot of people like to <laughs> bring uh, yeah they like to bring their animals down but with that many people it gets a little hectic sure um but yeah i mean we have people out there with their babies and their strollers to grandma in the wheelchair so wow that's huge yeah now how much money do, does the dine out for the cure and the race gross 
for the Susan G. Komen. And does it stay here in St. Louis or does it go to the national organization? Well, the um, dying out in and of itself, for the last two years, we've raised over $200,000 just with dying out. Now, the race raises quite a significant more amount. Yeah. Last year, we raised $3.5 million, oh, I think, wow. was exactly. you know, for the race event. And 75% of both of those um, amounts stays right here in St. Louis. And then 25% goes to the national organization. But the national organization actually grants money back to um, various uh, organizations in communities. And in fact, St. Louis has, um, one of the doctors at Wash U has received a $6.5 million grant from the national wow. organization recently. So why? W um, what, well, it's an application process. He, okay. he and I'm, um, but the, what it says is yeah. that St. Louis is a fantastic community for research and development in mm -hmm. the cancer field. And, um, you know. So, yeah, even though 25% of our, um, our funds are going back to the national organization, um, which is used strictly for grants, 6.5 of that has come back to St. Louis. Um, oh, really? And so we should be very proud. I mean, St. Louis should be proud. We should yeah. be, and yeah. I'd be willing to bet um, they love us. The national organization, I mean, generating, you know, $3 million plus dollars a year mm -hmm. for them. Right. Do we get any, uh, well, perks other than the kickback <laughs> of grants, we hope they look at us mm -hmm. that way in terms of, but in terms of national coverage, do we have some of that going on? We know that we have local coverage of the race for the cure, but do we have any national coverage? Well, there are um, races that are worldwide, actually. Okay. Um, the, you know, the second largest race was in Italy last year. Oh, wow. um, so they are happening all over the world. So um, the Race for the Cure series definitely gets plenty of national coverage. Um, and our grant that has come back here um, to Washington University is also gaining um, national coverage right. as well. That's uh, wonderful. Yeah. So. And this is a question for both of you. And Donna, you can mm -hmm. start with it. How can volunteers come out and help? Maybe they're thinking, you know what, I would love to help in that next year. What, what can they do? Well, for, um, for dine out, we use people as ambassadors in the restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, and as for race, we use people to pack t-shirts, to load up boxes of t-shirts, and to hand out t-shirts the weekend before at our blitzes. Race day, we also hand out t-shirts. Um, but also people who come and help set up on Friday night and Saturday morning. So there's all kinds of opportunities for people right. to volunteer on an hourly basis. They just need to go to our website, comanstlewis.org, to find what shifts are available and types of volunteer opportunities. That's awesome. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Before the show, I had a chance to meet a two-time survivor who's here in our studio audience, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I said, you didn't have to do it once, but you had to do it twice. Right. And she yeah. does the race annually. And so what is it that makes you guys do what you do and get involved with Komen? Well, my mother is a breast cancer survivor, um, and she's actually a 13-year survivor. So she celebrates her anniversary right along with the race. Um, and I am an only child. So, you know, as you can imagine, um, mother and daughter are very close. And everybody knows somebody. You know, it has touched everybody in some way, mm -hmm. whether it, you know, it's a relative or a friend of a friend. Somebody knows somebody. Mm -hmm. My mom actually passed at the age of 36 of breast cancer. I was 10 years old. So um, when I heard about the race for the first time, I felt like this was kind of a calling for me and my way of doing my little part to help find the cures for breast cancer so that my daughter doesn't have to lose her mother and um, you know hopefully my none of my friends or my sisters don't have to go through it so you know it's um, very close and personal because you know I lost her and I just don't want anybody to go through that that's, yeah that's, mm -hmm. that's tough mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that both sure. of you mm -hmm. can you give us some information then let's let's get the information up on the screen for people to participate in the dine out and in the race for the cure okay. well dine out mm -hmm. uh, if you want to go ahead Dine Out is on Thursday, June 9th. Mm -hmm. um, again, at all different participating restaurants, the best way to find out which restaurants are participating is to go to our website, colemanstlewis.org. They're Excellent. all listed. Mm -hmm. and of course, the, the race is going to then be. Then the race is on Saturday, June 11th. <laughs> so. Wonderful. And pre-registration is a great idea. Yes, <laughs> definitely. And you pick up your packet the day before, yeah. or the you weekend be before, and you're, you're yeah. all set. You're ready for uh, the big event on 
on June 11th. And when Excellent. we say big, it's, it's big. big. It's huge. <laughs> it's it's, it's breathtaking. Yeah. <laughs> it's breathtaking. And you know, we are going to have a giveaway that could be considered breathtaking, don't you think, Ivy? Oh, $35. Okay, okay. why not? Takes my breath away from Mother's Day. Yeah, That's right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I, I, don't, I don't know if you're eligible. <laughs> but Jeanette Brew, you're going home with a $35 thing. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, well, we're so happy to have our guest on today, and yeah. I hope that you'll come out St. Louis and support the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure and Dine Out St. Louis. Mm. And while you're thinking about it, why don't you listen to a little tunes from the Park Avenue Band because they're getting ready to play for you. <laughs> and the House Park Avenue Band. That was wonderful. Now, I'm going to give you some information because I know you're probably wondering right now, how can you book this band? They are awesome. You can call 314-518-5231 or 314-780-7772 to get you a piece of this Park Avenue Band. And guess what? They're going to play us out at the end of the show, and I know you're happy about that. Well, right now, let's check out with Gilberto and Ivy, who are in the kitchen. Yes. Awesome. We've got Donna and Stacy joining us. We're going to finish off our asparagus, not gratin, gratin. 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 Yes, and salt is, well, we have Stacy, but the gratin is the bread crusted thing that I help zest and everything here, Stacy. Are you impressed? The thing. You, you yes, can the see thing. It. You can see Good. It. You can see the thing. 
Okay. Go ahead, Stacey. We'll let yeah, you, you go Brendan, ahead. tell her how to so do it. So gratin is more, more of a method, and it's just kind of, we're putting some breadcrumbs that okay, have some lemon so zest delicate about it. Come on, and, some, and some orange zest and a little bit and of uh, a celery yeah, leaves ahead. in there for some added flavor. Mm. We're just going to top that on top, right? And is that then good? That's, that's great. Right. That's great. And then we put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on the top to awesome. help those uh, breadcrumbs brown a little bit. Right, and then we uh, we're gonna put that in the oven. Oh, we got the oven. In the oven. The oven is on. It's very hot in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and TV magic, we have the Whoa! finished result right Wait here. Look at that. Hey, Super so you conventional. You want a piece of this, Stacey? I'm gonna let you and Donna have a piece of that. Here we go. gonna right. share. You guys sure. it. Okay, so <laughs> what else? What what's the signature in the menu? Uh, so the over there at Seoul. A couple of the signature dishes we have oh, is the nice. pork and fennel meatball. It features a uh, blackberry jam. It's really savory, oh. sweet kind of mix. Whoa. Um, also, what we have uh, that's really cool is right now is we're doing a seared scallop with a cracked mustard sauce, and it's got a little smoke pumped in. Love so. it. You want a piece of that? It's 4356. Lindell, call them at 932-5787, or enjoysalt.com. Thank you so much, Brendan. Thank for you. Being Thank you, Ivy. Ladies, for joining us. It was a great time. Yeah. <laughs> And before I put the food in my mouth, I want to thank our audience and our sponsors for being here tonight with us. All right, and you know the Park Avenue Band was awesome, so let them take us away. Park Avenue Band, go ahead. <coughs> Good night. Let's go to 